Hello everyone, welcome to Platform 32 and a very, very dark image behind me of uh, retro games because it's today. <laughs> because it is today. It is. It is today. It's today. No, it's Wednesday today. And Wednesday is traditionally my uh, stream for retro games on retro hardware. But this time I'm doing things a little bit differently because I'm not going to be streaming retro games on retro hardware. I'm going to be streaming retro games on the most modern of hardware possible because this is AntStream. This is a brand new retro game streaming service uh, which is uh, currently an early access closed beta for Kickstarter backers. And uh, the, the simplest way I would explain it would be to say it's like Netflix for retro games. I've only had a very quick look at this uh, uh, the other day because um, I've had stuff on, but I thought I might as well jump in and check it out while uh, you lot are watching as well, so we can share in my first impressions of retro goodness. Um, there's a there's there's a section just for Spectrum games, um, and you know I've streamed hate on this channel before. There's lots of dizzy on here as well. Loads of stuff for Spectrum games. Uh, there's one for Mega Drive games. And like Netflix, these suggestions, they update and they change each time you load up. So there's always like a, a different set of games and things to scroll through. Uh, I first kind of got interested in the idea of Antstream a while back when it was first announced. Because uh, I just like, I like the idea of somewhere where... There's a whole bunch of retro games um, collected together uh, in a nice, easy way to like uh, to reach them and to play them. Um, partially because of video game conservation, I I think that's pretty important. Also because you know uh, you see a lot of retro stuff being sold on the uh, on the cheap. And none of the uh, none of the creators or the developers or the publishing houses get uh, get a cut of that. It's all a bit dodge. This is uh, all this stuff on here is licensed, so um, the people who created these will be getting a cut, or their cut will be going to charity. However, it's done. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but these are all licensed products. And uh, as with Netflix, uh, I presume if this is successful, this will expand and expand and expand. This is launching on July the 1st in the UK. At the moment, like I said, it's only open to Kickstarter backers and stuff. But I put a link into the comment, into the uh, video description to the website if you want to sign up for details and stuff about it. If you're as keen as uh, retro uh, if you're a keen retro enthusiast like myself, someone just said boop on loot and I missed it. Hello to Kate Lilly on loot. Welcome everyone. We've got 99 people watching me. I'll just do a quick shout out to everyone who's joining and then we'll crack on and we'll check some stuff out. We've got Alexander Hansen, Ali Fab, Angel Beat, at Freeback, Colin Stock and Dragoon, Bother, a Dougie the Reverse Pro Gamer, Emma Benta, Gavin UK, 86 Cigarettes, Advice, Isabel CW1, Joanna Wanna, Josh M. Carl Richardson, Kate Lily, Lar Team Maker, Mr. X, Mr. Tom for the Win, Night Cat, Rackless Rex, Rick Sim 2K, Rito Sin, Space Uppercopter, Steve Malone, and Vandal. Welcome, one. Welcome all. Uh, first time getting to catch a live stream in a long time, says Dave Dunn. Well, thank you. Very much for coming along. Yay, name chance is Joanna Werner. Well, ho, ho, hello, everybody. Okay, so, um, I don't know what to... I, I, I guess, let's just go in... Let's kick off with, like, a classic. Let's go click off, kick off... Well, actually, yeah, fuck it. So let's kick off with um, a little overview of what you get. You get a trending thing. Uh, which shows you all the games that are being played the most at the moment. And then this uh, games with challenges thing is, is pretty uh, interesting. Every s Tuesday, um, Antstream adds new challenges to some games. So, uh, for instance, let's check out Double Dragon here. Double Dragon for the uh, arcade version. Uh, if I click on this, then you can see the challenges section. You get info, which gives you... A little bit of info about the game, the year it's made, 87. And, uh, yeah, challenges. What are the challenges here? We've got butt out is the challenge. Uh, score as many points as you can. Don't forget to use your head. So um, you can play solo or you can challenge a friend 
to uh, this challenge as well. Let's play solo. Um, I'm using, so this AntStream app is available on the PC and the Mac, and it's also available on the Xbox One. I'm streaming this on the Xbox One and using the uh, Xbox One controller, which is uh, the preferred method of control, according to the developers. Um, I'm going to just so let's punch, kick, jump. So I'm going to press play and I'm going to go in to the game. So this is the uh, this is actually the challenge. This isn't the full game. I see. So I've not tried any of these challenges before. But the challenges seem to be in certain sections of the game. And then you have like I've got a minute to do this challenge rather than doing a challenge in the in the main game. Ah, Bobo got me. Try a fly kick him. Nope. Oh. oh no. I don't. I definitely don't think I'm going to pass this challenge. What is headbutt? Is it forward and forward and punch? <laughs> what a d bag. Oh no. It's double tap forward. Oh, it's been a while. Yeah, double tap forward for a headbutt. I've learned that far too late. A bow bow. No, no. Oh my god. I'm getting absolutely battered. There we go, that was a headbutt. I presume you get the most points for headbutting. Complete. So that was a quick look at one of the challenges anyway. Uh, I got 1,250 points, but not enough to unlock the challenge. I need uh, 2,500 for the first challenge, so I'm going to gonna need a little bit of practice for that. Um, oh, my big... So if any of the developers are watching right now, my big peeve with this... Uh, app at the moment is when you press B it automatically wants you to close the app and I've closed the app by accident loads of times B should be go back so instead you have to go up to the top left and click the arrow to go back oh no to the home is that right yeah there we go so let's see what people are saying uh I'm just seeing if there's anything that people... I vote you start with the awesome looking Bad Dudes versus Dragon Ninja, says Kate Lilly. Okay, let's do Bad Dudes versus Dragon Ninja. This is the arcade version. I actually had Bad, du Bad Dudes versus Dragon Ninja on the ZX Spectrum. I think it was a different name, though, on the Spectrum. But here we go. Side-scrolling, beat him up, jump, attack, and move. So, I'm not 100% how... Oh, what's this... Uh, what's that? A sponsored tip, Loot says. Just a tip. <laughs> Cat Loot says Angel Week. Um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure how AntStream works. I believe it streams it to you just like, uh, you know, Netflix or other streaming game services did in the past, like, uh, what was it, OnLive? Uh, rather than streaming the ROM to your computer and having like a set um, bunch of emulators in the app. Uh, but there's still a little bit of load time where the game sorts itself out. Rampant ninja-related crimes these days. White House is not the exception. Wh what? So this is Bad Deeds versus Dragon Ninja. I'm going to press start to put some uh, some coins in. President Ronnie has been kidnapped by the ninjas. Oh, shit, son. Are you a bad enough dude to rescue Ronnie? I... Bloody hope so. Hello, Ronnie Pedersen. I'm rescuing you, it seems. Oh, God. Okay. Right. Punch. Jump. Okay, here we go. Just one one kick for each. Oh, these ninjas aren't that special. Duck the... Are they metal banana skins? Okay, so... Oh, there's some nunchucks there. Can I go back and get them? How do we pick up them? Wow. Did I pick something up then, or, or do a fuck? Got it! Nice. Okay, so I've got some nunchuck now. Boff! Boff! Ah! Oh, I thought I was going to get run over. Oh, no! I thought I was going to get run over by a truck. This doesn't... This doesn't seem like the game I played on the Spectrum. I think I'm remembering a different game. That dog... Did that dog just laugh at me? Ho, 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 Hey! Take that, Red Ninja. Ooh. Knife. Die. Die. Hey. Hey. 
Karnov! Hey! Oh shit! Oh god, I'm the worst at retro games today. Oh, we got the bad guy. Let's hit him with some sweeps. He looks like the sort of guy that can't protect his lower half. Oh my god! That's me, like, uh, when I have the Gandhi's Revenge curry. Eh! Come here, dickhead. If, uh, uh, if you see a game you want me to stream, uh, do let me know. And uh, if I see if I see your comment, I'll give it a go. Hey! I need to kill this dude for definite. I probably must have played this in the arcade back in the day. I don't remember it. I don't remember fighting this boss at least. Ew. Come on, die! Oh, fuck! Oh, hate me like one of your French girls! I am. Yeah, Mr. Tom for the win says Ian is not a bad enough dude to rescue the president. I'm pretty. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty bad at being a bad dude. A bad. A bad ninja beating dude, at least. I'm pretty good at being bad in general. There we go. Got my sausages. Two sausages on on a string. This music's pretty sweet. Okay, can I move forwards? Oh no, it's slowly scrolling. Retro tea bags. So, if this is streaming in from some kind of central server, seems to be working okay so far. Poo! Oh shit! <laughs> oh. oh no! Oh, right, let's jump that one. Look at these guys hanging onto the side. Surely they could have just you know, paid for a seat. Hey! Piss off, sword douche. <laughs> Ah! Oh, hold on a minute. I need to, uh... I need to... Turn the volume down on my laptop, because I can hear it ping. Ah! 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 Okay, here we go. Alright. I'm being bad at bad dudes. Let's do what I was going to do at the start. Hold on, what's that? Oh, look. Here's my, uh... Is my XP and my rank. I've got one achievement. What's my achievement? Played one game session. So the achievements and stuff, a lot of all this stuff are, is work in progress still. Social. Check it out. This is where you can see your ant stream buddies. Well, I don't have any ant stream buddies, but that's where they'd be if they were my buddies. Oh, no, not settings. So. We want to search for look at all the dizzy games. Just look at them all. They're beautiful. So many dizzy games. Not uh, not not the correct box art for Bubble Dizzy. I'll have you know. Uh, Spin Dizzy, Imposter, uh, Fast Food Dizzy there. Dizzy Down the Rapids, Crystal Kingdom Dizzy. It's an expensive one to get on the spectrum, that. Fast food. And the thing is, they're all different versions as well. You've got the Amiga versions of Fancy World Dizzy. You've got the C64 version of Fantasy World Dizzy. And then somewhere around here will be the Spectrum version of Fantasy World Dizzy. Uh, there it is. So loads of different versions, depending on what platform you played it on. You might want to do some kind of retro sightseeing that way, or you might want to see what uh, Dizzy played like on the C64. I'm going to give the original Dizzy a go, though, on the uh, Spectrum. Um, no challenges for this one, but we'll give it a play anyway. Du -du 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 where have I gone with my comments and things? Ronnie Pedersen, he says, I thought 
Uh, it would have been more had you rescued me, says Ronnie Pedersen with the super chat. Well, I appreciate it anyway, and I'm very sorry I didn't rescue you, Ronnie Pedersen. Um, hopefully, hopefully next time I'll be able to rescue Ronnie. Amstrad for the win, says Nummy Numbers. No. <gasps> Right, I already forgot what to the buttons were. So that's jump, and I'm going to guess that A is pick up. So yes, yeah, the original Dizzy uh, in the correct aspect ratio, but nice and sharp and HD on my big HD telly here. Oh shit! Well, oh no, am I going to be terrible at all retro games? Let's pick up the uh, the torch. Light the cauldron. And then I can get ready to put all my special, secret, magical ingredients in there once I've collected them. So, if you've never heard of Dizzy before, what have you been doing? You obviously haven't been watching this channel. Uh, Dizzy is the lovable eggy mascot of the 80s. And uh, the one true good egg in the world. I need to avoid this... Bird, fuck yeah, good. Uh, and then I'm gonna get this Acme bird seed here, and I'm gonna jump right into it and melt its face off. There we go. So that's killed that bird. Uh, Dizzy games are basically like um, like prototype Resident Evil games. Oh shit! I hit a. There's a there's a ghost uh, apple in that tree. You go from one place to another, pick up an object, that object allows you to open up somewhere else. You can get further and further into the game doing it. Not as scary as Resident Evil games, but the, uh, the mechanics are the same. There's a key there. Oh man, the, 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 the times I spent playing Dizzy back in, back in the olden days. Got the graveyard key, managed to avoid the spider. The graveyard's all the way over this way. Um, past many hazards, though. I probably should have brought my uh, the bird seed with me first. And uh, seen to some of these birds, because there's a lot of them. I think an apple comes down from that tree as well. Oh, the, uh, the dreaded... The dreaded pit. How is it? How do you... So this pit, if you um, jump on this pit in the wrong place, it collapses and then you can't get out and you have to restart the game. I've d I fucked it. I fucked it. I jumped from the wrong position. That's me dead now. There's no way out. There's no way to do it! I love this game, even if it was, wasn't well liked as Lassus. Who the hell have you been talking to, Lassus? This game's a maze balls. You can now see why Higgy, the first one, has spiders in it, says Mr. Tom. Indeed. Anyway, I can't, I'm not going to spend the whole time playing just one or two games. We want to go and go through and see a big selection. Uh, Kitty Lates is loot is both retro and up to date, says Fruit Bear. It is indeed. Biffed it, it's a space hopper I biffed it indeed. Let's, oh no, I don't want to cancel the app, no. Uh, I don't want to close the app, no. I just want to quit. Okay. There we go. So let's go back to the home. Let's see what else we've got in here. Um, what's that? I, don't, I haven't got a clue what this is, so let's give it a go. Buttersan. Blow up. Pigs with bombs. Need we say more? This fast-paced action game is a snout full of fun. Oh, let's do it. I'm going to blow up some pigs with some bombs. And the first time I've ever played Buttersan before. Select a random run, says Angel Beat. I, d I did. That's this one. Here we go. Ah, he's cute. So this is an arcade one. Um, Japanese arcade. Perhaps never even released in the UK if, or the Western world if there's no title translation. 
Insert coin. Boo boo boo. Throw is A button. Uh, lie is B button. Power up of throwing. Can run faster. Put some to sleep. Wide explosion. Defend blast wave. Can hold more bombs. 1,000 points. Ready. Obstinate testy. What? Blue's coward crybaby. Lemony is cheerful. I'm wondering why why they wanted to talk about that pig's testes. Greeny question mark. This is this is this is fucking bizarre. Okay, round start. This is a fast-paced action game. Uh, oh shit. Okay. Each bomb's got a countdown, and I've, I've knocked him out with a. Oh, fuck. Got blue. Ow! Hey, no one told me they exploded on impact. I how I don't know how I won. Purple, snobbish, bluffy. Whitey, carefree, amiable. Okay, here we go. So do the the flashing ones explode on contact? Maybe. Oh. 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 Shit. What am I doing? Okay, ah. Oh, everyone's having a lie down. Why are they. The Amy's doing it for in the face. Okay, I'll, I'll shit, shit off. Whoa, shit, son! What even happened there? I like that I. Oh, good lob. I like that I get extra lives and they don't. I appreciate that. Oh, fuck. I just bombed myself. What was if I press B without doing anything? It kinda does a little Ah, 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 staying alive. Gas time. <laughs> do 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 after this could you scroll through the entire list of games, says Vandal. I'm not a hundred percent sure it's possible, uh, Vandal. I'll have a look and see, but the way it's set up is a bit like Netflix, so it's kind of, you get like showcase ones, rather than like a big full list. Yikes! Oh my god, my pig face got massive. Damn it! I dislike red pig and white one. Everyone too. Is he? It's like pinning a voodoo doll of a pig to a wall. That's kind of creepy. Well, that was um, Butts, Butts Farm. Butto Sam. It was <laughs> Porkin Unknown Bacon Royale. This is a terrible game of YL. Okay, let's go away from that one. Uh, oh, get well soon to your cat, Jordan Earl. Oh, poor poorly cat. Right, uh, so we want to go... Don't want to press B and close the app. Uh, so, you see... So if I go trending and I go to the right, you see... It goes, and go, but then it stops. And it's the same for... Like, recently added to people too. Nice. What's that? Magician? So, you go this way. And... It stops. Got some Mega Drive games here. Cannon fodder. Well, I might put a bit of cannon fodder in a bit. Is there a way to look through the entire selection of games? Um... To be honest, I'm not sure. Has it got Ninja Golf Simulator? Well, let's type in Ninja and find out. Spa uh, whoever asked for that. Space Hoppercopter. Ninja. We've got Last Ninja. Last Ninja 3. So, Last Ninja 1 wasn't the Last Ninja. Last Ninja 2 wasn't the Last Ninja. Uh, it looks like Last Ninja 3 was, in fact, the last ninja. And then there's Joe and Mac, Caveman Ninjas. No Ninja Golf, I'm afraid. Let's try Last Ninja 2 on the Amiga, because I've got Last Ninja 2 on the Spectrum. 
and I couldn't work out how to play it. Choose weapon, fight somersault, fight a somersault duck. Tap step. Okay, the park. Ooh, how to play. Fight somersault, choose weapon, inventory. Ooh, ah, no, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Tap start. How oh, many bits on the menu? Okay. Continue. What? Continue. Where? Check me out. I'm the last ninja. I've just uh, finished. Uh, I don't know. Being in a band. So let's get off stage. Shit. There we go. Hello. Oh fuck, yeah, this is this is a problem I had with the Spectrum version. I didn't know how the fuck it worked. How oh, fuck <laughs> Why is my position locked? Oh no. Well it's a good job. Huh? Ah. Okay, here we go. Well, it's a good job this guy up here doesn't Hey, fuck off. Punching him in the throat. Fucking man. Fucking man! God, I'm, I'm a terrible last ninja as well. Eat, eat my fists, dickhead. Right, fine. No, I give up. I give up. Peace, peace and love, bro. Peace and love. Ah, oh, shit, son. <laughs> I'm moonwalking away from him. I can't. I can't. I've never worked out how to control this on the spectrum, and it's just as Difficult on the Amiga. Come here, dickhead. This is the worst last ninja ever, says Gavin UK86. I remember Ian spent ages trapped on the move roof and then decided that was why he was the last ninja, says Freebat. Yeah, it seems about right. Right, fuck you, last ninja. Oh, see, I did it! I pressed B by accident and quit out. Luckily, it doesn't take long to load. What is Lasso? Never never heard of Lasso and it's got a big banner up here. Let's play rope them down on the farm, but watch out for the dogs. Fire, Lasso, play. We go. Wow, 1982. Okay. Put some coins in. Warming up. For cowboy to lasso. Face in direction of animals. Don't move cowboy. Press lasso button for length of rope and release to form loop. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, I got you. I know how to lasso. Hey, get in the... Get in my lasso, you golden, cheapy bastards. <gasps> yeah, I got one. Is that a crocodile? What country am I meant to be in that has golden sheep and crocodiles? What's that? Oh, fuck. Watch out for dogs, it says. No! <gasps> Is that a dragon that lives in a hole? Okay, I'm the best at lassoing now. I've learnt the lasso. You lassoes, you lose. Oh, you. Can you lasso dogs? I don't know. I'm gonna give up on that dog. Oh, what? Oh my god. Sheep are evil. see the dogs, because otherwise I'm in trouble. Oh no, it doesn't look like it. Oh, they keep stopping. Ah! 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 
The worst kind of... Sh they are the worst kind of sheep. Killer, evil, hungry sheep. Right, I... Okay, I know how to lasso you. I get it. This is, this is my time. It's my time to shine as a master lassoer. That cow had like glowing braces. Right. Wrong. That sheep just duck my lasso. Sheepy shit. There we go. Come to Higton, Farmer Higton. Hey. Yeah, can't lasso dogs. <gasps> what the fuck? You leave my sheep alone, dickhead. This is good. Oh, come. Ooh, that's not good. Okay. Right, I need to run from that dog. Ha! Ah! Oh, so many dogs, so little time. Okay, it's okay. The sheep have slowed down a bit. This is basically um, Red Dead Redemption 1, right? Fuck. Wait, is a dragon trying to eat your sheep, says Gavin. Uh, I believe so. I, I'm pretty sure that is a dragon. I did it! Look at my lasui guns. Get off my land! This is fruit bat. Teeth on them. Cause I'm fuck! <laughs> Shitting dragon. Ah, oh, the end. Oh well. Okay. That's a quick look at. Oh, I did it again! Fuck! Oh, it's confu It's so confusing. You just want to press B to go back. You don't want to. Oh, never mind. Right. Let's play something I've played before and that I know. So then we've got some drive. Look, it's changed it now. Driving games. Miami Chase. Shooting games, Amiga games, there's Amiga games, C64 games. What can we play on the Amiga? Zool. Oh, maybe I have to play Zool. Llamatron. Shit, son. Xenon 2. Wizkid. Switchblade 2. Shit. Chaos Engine. Holy fuck. There's too many. I can't choose. It keeps going. Chris kicked his ear. Possible. This was going for a long time. Gods, Butcher Hill. What's that? Custard Man. I don't know what that is. There's, 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 Balls on there. Sensi Soccer. Hate. Deliverance. Chips Challenge. Wow, there's um, Super Seymour. Putty. Magic Pockets. Wow, there's a shitload of Amiga games. Nebulous, wow. Death Mask, never heard of it. Video Kids. Head Over Hills. Oh, I might play some Head Over Tusker. What's that? Axel's Magic Hammer. <gasps> oh, I'm, I'm going to play Axel's Magic Hammer because I literally haven't played Axel's Magic Hammer since the 90s. Wow. Holy shit. This one's a right blast from the past. Yeah, I haven't played this. I remember playing this back in the day, but not for a long time. Looty Booty says I'm, I'm all on uh, loots. Oh my god, Whizball. So many hours on that as a kid, says Nummy Nummers. Hey, Unholy Muppet. Uh, Mr. Tom for the Wind says Magic Pockets and let the intro music play. All right, we'll do Magic Pockets next. Not me. <laughs> Axel's magic hammer, you little bastard. <gasps> Sound effects. Oh, spring. Oh. 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 Memories. Ow. Shit. There we go. Man, this is crazy. 
Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I really, really do remember the sound effects more than anything else in this game, to be honest. Let's keep going. Dying. Oh. Dying. Dying. Ah, P lets me find my hammer. How many hits with the hammers do these guys take? Oh, ow! I hope I'm going to be able to jump on that cloud to get over it. Because I reckon water's going to end up killing me. There we go. Wow, exploding sharks. This is the future millennials want. Whoop. Exploding sharks. Oh, fuck. What is this one? Ooh. A bomb. Oh. Maybe that was a smart bomb or something. Well, if I hadn't seen this game on here, I would never have been, like, have remembered this game. I wonder if I can, like, jump from there. Onto there we go. P Come here. It's uh, not the most well known of Amiga platformers, to be honest. Stonehenge. Oh <laughs> guess you can't kill that thing. Sound effect is is giving me like weird nostalgic flashbacks. Can I go down this hole? Yes. Yeah, up yours, wasps. Wasps suck. I could quite. I could. I can handle letting the sharks live, but the wasps can get to fuck. Secret. I bloody remembered it. Oh. Some keys. Ah, oh, can't get up there now though. I've messed up the block placement unless I can do this. No, fucked it. Do the blocks load again? No. <gasps> Buns. Axel's magic hammer. Get in the sea. Woohoo! Alright. Okay, good. That wasn't quitting the whole thing. So, if I go for uh, back to home, hopefully it'll still have Amiga. What's the one Mr. Tom wanted? I forgot it already. Um, Magic pockets. Where was that? What's that? Galactic Warrior. Flimbo's Quest. There's Magic Pockets. Okay, Magic Pockets. And then... Oh, it's by the Bitmap Brothers. Oh, it's bound to have good music. Jump fire. Start. Eh? Oh, wait. Did I just go straight into the game there? It's taking a long time to reload that, isn't it? Uh, Nebulous is, yeah, you're like a weird green jumpy blob thing and you climb up around a spinning tower. Yeah. Let's try that again. So this is early access closed beta at the moment. It's like the testing phase and stuff. So um, there's going to be a few bugs and glitches here and there, I presume. It's, uh, it's kicking me straight into the game. 
The protagonist is so 90s it hurts, says Nightcat. Let's see what happens if... I, maybe if I can get myself killed. That is a super 90s protagonist. Bwah! <laughs> okay, let's let the content let's let the credits run out. Continue. Uh. Yeah. Don't know. It seems to be skipping over the title screen for some reason. He says, fuck it, I'm booting up my Amiga and I'll post the intro on my Twitter, says Mr. Tom. Fair enough. This is one of the uh, few Bitmap Brother games that I actually have never played. Uh, so I don't know why he's throwing arrows and uh, it's either a cyclone or a, uh, a, 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 a blackberry? Kind of black... Yeah, not black current. Or is it black current? So yeah, I don't know much about Wizkid. Kablarsk. One of the buttons was hold for start. Uh, no. Continue. Uh, how to play? No. Oh, every time. I don't want to close the app. How to play. Tap start hold menu. No. The title music for Magic Pockets was an instrumental version of Doing the Do by 90s one hit wonder pop starlet Betty Boo. Ah. Okay. So tapping start does. Oh, it fires the. The bits and bobs. No, I don't want to. Hold down fire for stronger cyclones. Oh, I keep pressing B instead of A for some reason. I think it's because I've been playing Cadence of High Rule. Oh, that is a big cyclone. Ah! Is there a cyclone in your pocket, or are you pleased to see me? Nice. Okay. Quite the uh, acrobatic young chap. Well, I just threw sweets out. Yikes. Eat my cyclone, dick. There we go. So we're getting blah, <laughs> getting sweets out of the uh, out of the frogs. Yeah, they remind me of Stag the Slug, but with a shell on. Yeah, so there's no um, no Nintendo games on this. Uh, chances are there probably won't be. You know what Nintendo are like. But there are Mega Drive games on this. Remember, try to spin to kill nasties. Well, I'll get my head around that one another day. Do 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 and do and do magic pockets. Okay. So there's about two hundred games on here at the moment. Putty melt. Super Seymour saves the planet. It's a bit like Bomb Jack that. Paradroid. MIG Soviet Fighter uh I got that on the uh, Spectrum. That's a uh, Codemasters game. I just realized my mic's kind of in the wrong direction, so I might have been really quiet. Who knows? Nebulous 2? I did not know there was a, t a Tricky Towers 2. Oh, 
I mean, I would have looked at that, but then I saw a game called Dinosaur Detective Agency, and, well, I'm going to be some uh, Jurassic crime-solving motherfucker. I think this might just be worth a subscription for the Amiga games to Space Opercopter. If I can get things on here like um, Moonstone and stuff like that that's, like, incredibly hard to find, or like really expensive, that's when you're gonna get, definitely gonna get some value for, uh, for monies. What is it? What did I? What? Pressing, hold on a minute. Pressing start brings up a camera. Back to menu. Ah, and so does B. What, what, what's this? So, oh, okay. Okay, so when you take a photo of them, they freeze in place. This is the fucking weirdest Amiga game I've ever heard of. Secret Mine? Is it secret if it's got a signpost outside? Ooh. Oh, that looked like a poo. Okay, got another flash. That the end of those bones looks suspiciously like a nutsack. That spider looks really weird as well. Oh, an extra life there. I wonder why this game was never remembered as a uh, Amiga classic. Oops. Good music. I had the demo of this as Mr. Tumblr. Is this like some kind of rudimentary Pokemon Snaps as Nummy Numbers? I think it may just be. Oh. Weird game. Dino Might. Can't get past the Dino Might, can I? Is there a way to set off the Dino Might? Excellent Repeatertron music as well. Can I get back up there? Okay. What's this gold thing do? If I push that down there, that's going to help me get over the dynamite, right? It's got all right movement on his head. I haven't seen any Psygnosis games on this service yet, but holy shit, Hired Guns, if that was on there, and Walker, whoa, that'd be great. Oh, oh. Oh, that's enough Dino Detective Agency. Like I said, I'm just having a quick look through uh, as many nostalgic nostalgia beans as possible. Uh, uh, the crackle might have been my can of pop fizzing. Maybe. Not sure. I can't hear anything on my end. It, was it his walking? Was it his footsteps? The crackle might have been his uh, footsteps. They sounded a bit crackly. Whizball, butcher, oh God. There's too much choice. Zool. Let's have a quick look at Zool. Oh, Zool 2. Oh, okay. They had Zool 1 on here. I think that was on the Amiga. Uh, on the Mega Drive. Because I had to go there, there, yeah. Zool Mega Drive. Something added. Sheep in Space. I haven't done a C64 game yet. Let's do Sheep in Space. By Llamasoft. Control inverted flying sheep in this surrealistic shooter. 
It's Jeff Minter game. Jeff Minter's still around, still making games. Last game he made was Polybius for the PS4, uh, which uh, you can get in PlayStation VR mode as well. If you follow him on Twitter, he often live streams. Uh, he has he owns sheep and he live streams his sheep. <clears throat> hey, hockey rap. Ooh, Whizball, I used to enjoy that. You're the second person who says Whizball, so I'll do some Whizball next. Llamasoft presents Jeff Minter's Sheep in Space! F1. Press by game options. That's moving very fast, that writing. Planet Buster Initial Charge. Game entry level. This isn't a hacked version, is it? That looks like a hack a hack start that does. Ooh. I presume it isn't. I am I'm an upside down sheep. Oh no, no, no. Oh! Fuck me, I crashed. That's a cool noise. You couldn't make that noise on the spectrum to be fair. Oh. What can I do with the camel? Oh, okay. If you... Oh. Hitting the ground's not a good thing. Wow, wow. There's a whale. Now I'm, uh, now I'm upside down. Real slow. What's it? Speeds up when you're in the middle. Slows down when you're there. I oh no, that was a... thought that was a good thing. Wasn't a good thing. Learning how to play uh, sheeps in space on the uh, on the fly here. No, it doesn't like me hitting the ground, does it? Wow! 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 All right. <clears throat> no. I keep pressing B by accident because a lot of the time the game's the fire button is B, as well. All right. No. Back to menu. Quit. Whizball, right? Whizball. Wills. Who dares wins was there? So we got Whizball on the Spectrum is the one I've played. I never played the Amiga version. Wizard Willy. Huh. That's uh, that's the Codemasters game. Uh we'll do Whizball on the Amiga. Because it'll be slightly better graphics. I'll pop your can, says on well on loot. Oh my god. One player. Alright. Hold on. How to play? No. Tabs not upgrade, fire, movement, back to menu, okay. So Whizball is about this ball that whizzes around and gets killed. <laughs> I, I, to be honest, I've never got really far with Whizball either. Because it's hard to control. Look at his weird, horrible mouth. I'm interested to try it WizKid, actually, because... Oh, fucking hell. Never played WizKid, and um, I read all about it in the... Um, 
uh, the making of sensible software book thing. I think it was that. Come on. It's tricky. Controlling this little shit. I want to go down the hole. Go down the hole! <laughs> Fine. Let's go this way then. Let's keep going this way. Boink. Ah, does cannon fodder have the opening music on it? I'm sure it does. Let's have a quick look at Wizkid though. No. I have played Wizball. Mr. Tom, I just, I have it on the spectrum somewhere, but I only got it recently and I'm just terrible at it. I've never played WizKid is the one I've not played. Okay. This is my first time playing WizKid. Remember this start for some reason. Maybe I watched it on YouTube. Unless I have played this and I played it around a mate's house. I love the backgrounds of Amiga games when they're like gradients like that. That's proper Amiga, that. Whenever I think of Amiga games, I think of backgrounds of gradient colours like that. The story of Wizball 2. Round Zero, Wizkid Training College. Hi, my name is BD Snail. And it is my job to help you learn the wonderful world of Wizkid. Your head can dislodge bricks. Try to smash these bricks. Okay. That was very easy. Flying bricks kill baddies. Oof. Oof. Nice. So you can see a few streaming artifacts. When it, like, changes screen, it does get a bit blobby sometimes where I presume it's the stream trying to catch up hit the purple brick where indicated with his head as hard as possible oh. nice your reward for multi nasty destruction is a bubble touch the bubble to pop it yay Take different colour notes and try to make a tune. Alright, I will do. Some bubbles contain a prize, huh? Oof, oof. Clown's nose. Now the tiles you dislodge can be juggled on your head. Oh shit, there's a fire button. Only down a fire button whilst juggling will be able to. Ah, okay. Hold down a fire button when I need you to pluck single tiles. Yum! <laughs> Yum! It's also possible to catch flying tiles with practice. Congratulations for completing the training course. Hooray! What a happy boy! Good luck, soldier. Okay, this game... This game is drugs. I really feel like I've played this before now, but I can't place it. Coins! 
Okay. I'm squishing these bugs. What a fucking weird game. <laughs> in the house. Bring the house down, more flippers. Oh, I don't have my clown nose anymore. They're gone. <gasps> Shit. Oh, I'm running out of bricks. You massive brick. Oh, that was a... bounced across a bit. There's one more brick left. I don't think I can... Oh. Big Wigs Nuts. Someone was on the acid making this. Definitely. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Oh, battering those bees with my nuts. Uh, this is a sequel to Wizball. Yeah. Coke's a hell of a drug, says Unmull. Sure is. Right, so that's Whizball. Uh, we wanted to see... Someone wanted to see if the beginning music for Cannon Fodder was on here. So let's have a look. So it's the it's the Mega Drive version of Cannon Fodder, which I'm, I'm not 100% sure I've ever... Well, I, I don't think, I'm almost definite I've never played it. So I don't know what type of... It probably won't be the one with the lyrics, but you never know. He never snows. Hey, David McNair. He says, talking about retro games, I'm just back from 8-Bit Symphony in Hull, where I got my C64 signed by several legends of the scene. Oh, man. Gel. Jelly. Hope you had a good time, David McNair. <clears throat> okay. Keyboard. Oh, I'm not playing with a keyboard. I'm playing with a controller. Gamepad. Fire, move, explosives. Okay. Okay. Go with your brother. Kill him with your gun. With a man in a uniform dying in the sun. What? The um, Sensible Software book by... Um, bitmap publishing is bloody brilliant by the way if you've um, if you can get that anywhere if you're a fan of sensible software it's a great book it's like the story of um, sensible software and then it has all these amazing maybe this is why I, I think I know Wizball. there's like whole sections in here of screenshots and stuff this is published by um, uh, this book is published by Read Only Memory, it's called. And uh, my book is uh, my book is signed by quite a few of the people who worked on all these games. Legendos. Let's go in. Cannon fodder. saying crackle uh, I have I've played Cannon Fodder I must have played it on an Amiga stream before uh, I also played Cannon Fodder on a late to the party I made Johnny play it on a late to the party on Eurogamer what um, how do I start this then there we go 
I'm liking the so I am liking the sound of this service as AJ. Press F to pay respects to Johnny. <laughs> this is Kate Lily. Who's Johnny? Says I'm more. Ah, poor Johnny. He's going to a better place. Uh, I don't. I don't mean heaven. I mean he's uh, leaving the Eurogamer video team to um, be the head of video on uh, on a board games website. Uh, which is um, pretty much his dream job. So uh, best of luck to him. Oh no, Mrs. Beard! But, uh, yeah. Oh, no, don't want to do that. So, uh, yeah. I'm sticking around for the for the foreseeable, unless uh, unless VR takes off and I, I get asked to be uh, the head of head of video on a, a VR website, and then you never know. I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> so, Cannon Fodder is um, just one of my favourite games of all time, but. It feels so weird playing it with a controller and not a, I <laughs> and not a mouse and keyboard. That's so weird. Not I don't normally say that. I wouldn't normally say I prefer mouse and keyboard to control something with, to be honest. But um, controlling a mouse pointer with a, uh, a a controller is just not satisfying. And I, I don't know, the Mega Drive version, the gun sounds don't sound as great. The Amiga version's the, the definitive version of this. By far. By far, by far. Mm. Do, 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 do. So yeah, definitely when like new scenes load up, you get that kind of like muddying Vaseline kind of view. Actually there's a I seem to be getting a little bit of yeah, definitely getting a little bit of lag here. From uh, this is the first time I've felt any kind of lag. It was just a a little brief moment there, but there was a slight lag coming from the game. Seems to have gone now, though. I, mean, I guess that's one of the uh, one of the downsides of of streaming services. But you'd th you'd think that uh, retro games would be able to handle it better than something like Google Stadia will. I can imagine. I don't know. Well, it's just streaming video feeds down, isn't it? It would be the same. It would just be the same videos stream sort of just different processing stuff going on in the back end i don't know i'm not digital foundry just talking to my fucking self someone's someone died uh, a very slow painful death then um i can't remember how to throw grenades i think throwing grenades is oh no Jobs! Oh man. One of my guys. Oh fuck. Oh, ah, fuck. oh the door nearly got me. How do you throw grenades? Is it. Let's move. Or do I even have grenades? Oh, I don't have any grenades, so I can't. I think throw grenades is going to be press move and shoot at the same time. That's what it is. I think on the Super Nintendo version. 
Oh my god, Ender's Misery says Cam. I'm sorry, Cam. Oh, <laughs> poor jobs. Oh, no, poor jobs. What's my uh Twitter saying? Chaos Engine wants a Fork the Dead wants some Chaos Engine. Okay. Alright. Let's do some Chaos Engine. You can actually get Chaos Engine on um, Steam now. Not which is not bad, which is not bad at all. Okay. DJ Puff? Well, hold on a minute. What version of DJ Puff is that? C64 version. I paid a lot of money to get DJ Puff on the Spectrum. DJ Puff on the Spectrum is one of the hardest Codemasters games to find. No, I don't want to look at similar. So it's quite the collector's item. I've only got one more Spectrum game to get for my uh, to get the full uh, Codemasters collection, the full collection of Codemasters games that were released in the UK, and it's called Sergeant Seymour Robot Cop. I own it in a compilation in the Superstar Seymour box set, but I do not own it in. Uh, on a single dual tape. Oh, the Spectrum version's oh, the Spectrum version's much better than this version. The Spectrum games, the Spectrum one's pretty shit as well. But yeah, Spectrum version's better. No, I don't want to close it up. I keep doing that. Quit. Okay. Uh, so we were going to have a quick look at Chaos Engine, weren't we? Renegade 3. Holy shit. Renegade 3 is terrible. <laughs> Amazing. Karate Champ. Every time like, I load up, I do a different search, something else random comes up that I haven't thought about for years. Uh, we'll do the Amiga version of Chaos Engine, although, as you can see, the Mega Drive version is there as well. So it just depends on, uh, you know, what system you fancy as to what you, uh, what you play. Kitty Loots would like to give you a positive thumbs up, says Fruit Bats on Loots. Doodle doo, doodle doo, doodle doo, doo doo doo. Chompit's in the house. Hi, Chompit. Welcome back, Sol. Welcome back. Let's start a new game. Check out some cannon fodder. Cannon fodder? Chaos Engine. Who's the one I used to like the most? It was the Navi I used to play as the most. And then I'll take the Brigand with me. The Forest, level one, the beginning. I haven't played Speedball on this stream yet, Terrible Game of while, no. Layers activated. Layers activated. Wow, wow. Gotta hear him say, node activated. Mm. Mm, mine. Mine. Me and my brother used to get into arguments about this game. Because. Note activated. Note activated. Steal the power ups or the cash before uh, each other could. Classic. 
classic brother japes. I've, I've definitely streamed uh, this. Have I streamed it on... I've probably streamed it on Platform 32 and Eurogamer, to be honest. I think I streamed the remake or the re-release on Steam on Eurogamer. And then I've almost definitely streamed my version of um, Chaos Engine on an Amiga retro stream at some point. Wah! Taking a lot of damage. These kind of crazy. What are they? Golems? Weird stone men. Nice secret passage. <gasps> Mine! Oh. Power. Power. Special power. power. Don't you want it, mate? What's the special power button? I've got a book uh, about the Bitmap Brothers as well, which is really good. Same kind of deal, but this one's like a much bigger hardback thing with like loads of screenshots and interviews in and stuff. Exit open. Exit open. Level complete. Level complete. There we go. Quick look at Chaos Engine. What's this going? This service has me intrigued, says Unmol. If you want to find out more about Ant Stream, the uh, the link to their website where you can sign up for details and stuff is in the video description below. Uh, so, uh, you know, sign up to the main in this store or whatevs if you're interested. Do 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 I'd like to know how if there's a, like a way to refresh the Revenge of the C5. What the fuck? Clive Sinclair is determined to prove his C5 is safe and reliable. By Atlantis. Help Clive Sinclair show beyond a doubt that the C5 is the next best thing since sliced bread. Well, the C5 is... Uh, if you don't know what the C Sinclair C5 is, it is a weird one-person electric power like battery powered bike he sat down to drive it like and it's it failed magnificently it's my dream to get one one day cuz you can still get them one here or there press l for learners press p for poses press i for instructions uh pedal right boost left boost okay I, just, I fucking hit a ghost. Come on, Sir Clive. I don't know what your deal is with uh, ghosts, but... Oh, I hit a fence. I mean, fences. A death by fence I can live with, but death by ghost? It's not, it's not exactly that realistic. It's, oh, fuck! Maybe I shouldn't try and... Oh, piss. Maybe I should try and own one of these. I want to... I want to play again. Key A. How far did I get? Zone 2. Hmm. Okay. So I, I need to get to... Zone three. Yeah. And prove beyond reasonable doubt that Sir Clive Sinclair's C5 is... Oh! It's a reliable piece of machinery. Does this take me back to the beginning each time? <gasps> no, Sir Clive. Shit. Oh, look at those lovely ZX Spectrum graphics. Oh, shit. I need to remember which way is which which way it's gonna go. I need to be nice and tight on the edge. On one of the edges. Let's go. Fuck! Ah, oh, you bastard! I didn't 
boost didn't boost to the left quick enough. Right this time. I gotta I can get one. Whoa! I can get one bit further. One bit further. Boost and boost. There we go. I'm doing it. So, oh look, there was a tree on that side as well. Sir Clive would be so proud of me right now. As long as he doesn't like hit a pram. Oh fuck! Oh. Rest in peace, Sir Clive. The Amiga version will be added soon, says Dolligan. Dolligan. Does Dolligan work for? Uh... For um. Antstream? If anyone watching does work for Antstream and wants to let people know anything, feel free to, to do it in the comments. To, to have a chat in the comments. Maybe people will have questions. I'm just here I'm just here getting nostalgic and discovering games like this that I'd never even knew existed at the moment. So, I wonder, what's that? Messages, your inbox is empty. That's my profile. I wonder if there's a way to search, like, by platform. No, there doesn't seem to be a way to search by platform, but Fighters History Dynasty has an interesting cover. Compete in the Great Grapple and claim the title of Ultimate Street Fighter in this fast-paced acting uh, acting game, action game, fighting game. Even the fuck words am I reading? Um, like hard kick, hard punch, fast punch, fast kick. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. So this is flashy. So you think you can fight? Well, let me tell you something. The champions are back in town and they plan to teach you a lesson. You learned pretty fast last year, but things have changed. Your opponents have remembered every punch you gave them. And this time, they demand a rematch. This year, their hunger for revenge will not go unsatisfied. And one more thing. There are a few new fighters in the group this time around. You might want to be careful of them. Yeah, but where the fucking words go? Nice. Karnovs! Hey, we've heard about Karnov before. Karnov was in... What's going on? Karnov was in the, uh... Bad Dudes and Dragon Ninja. It's called Karnov's Revenge now. Bad Dudes and Dragon Ninja. His name was written on the... wall. Oh, press the button. There's a bit of schmirt, 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 schmirt. This is a street... This is one hell of a Street Fighter ripoff. Ryu! There's Con, there's Chin Lao, there's Renu. Don't know who that guy is. Or that guy. Who's that guy? Ah, oh, shit! I don't want to be him. There's a Zangief guy that was uh, versus. <laughs> wow. Someone's... Ugh. Someone's been copying Street Fighter quite a bit. I mean, uh, inspired by. I just tried to do a Mortal Kombat uppercut for some reason. Ow, 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 ow. Well, that was a blatant Street Fighter move. <laughs> Matlock. Uh, Matlock. Legally distinct fireball. Legally distinct fireball. Legally distinct sonic boom. Where is it? 
So this guy that I'm fighting out now is Guile, I guess. I mean, uh, Matlock. Have a throw, dickhead. Oh, oh I'm not dead. Ah! No, Matlock! Matlock, no! Ah, shit! Matlock got fucked up! I want to play with a different character. Capcom's lawyers say hi, says Laser Brain. It didn't feel as smooth as Street Fighter either on Mole. I'm not sure whether that's just because it's a bit of a shitty ripoff or whether the, the streaming uh, is a little bit dodged. Why is it going all the way to by itself? Now? So that's Zangief. Vega, maybe. Goes by itself for some reason. Stop it! it might be my thumbstick on my controller's a bit rubbish. Oh, I should have been like, should have been like, Con or Renu, Ryan. <laughs> Ryu is Ryan. Yeah. Look at me. This will be their um, Zhang uh, Dal Sim guy. Take that, Lee. Clown. Okay. Excellent special move there. My throw is to do that, huh? No. You leave me leave my clown alone, dickhead. Hey, fuck off. There we go. Hi ya indeed. Hi ya. That's the famous stick drift of the Xbox controller in for Unholy Muppet. Ah. Most of these you're supposed to use the D-pad on, but um, you can use the controller and um, you can use the thumbstick and I just... My brain automatically takes me back to the th my thumb to the thumbstick uh, instead of the D-pad every so often because I forget. The graphics here are getting a little bit muddy, a little bit blurry with all the like the movement that's going on. I presume that's a little bit of the uh, the streaming because the effect of the streaming. It's nowhere near as um, muddy or laggy as on my voice when you tried that. There's still a loss of visual quality on this stage. But I didn't see on the other stage. No! But again, this is a closed early access beta, so I guess stuff like this is going to be uh, hopefully tuned out for the full release. Of all the wimps I've ever thought, you were the wimpiest. Wow. Duh. Zazzy. Zazzy? What is his name? Clown versus Zazzy. It was Zazzy. Jesus Christ, I just Round thought I misheard one. that. Right. Ow. Pole driver. <laughs> Pole driver. This guy's got Zangief's moveset. I'm pretty sure I saw a level like almost identical to this on Street Fighter 4. Clown wins. Round two. Fight. I like how his uh, his headband is like electrified. Pilot driver! Just teabag me. 
spamming him with the same move now. Ow! Ow! My foot! <gasps> Smack my mask off! <gasps> Look at my face! Oh! Set me on fire! Smash my mask off! Showed the world my real face and then set me on fire! Clown loses. Alright. Oh, we got. I got about 20 minutes left. Anything anyone really wants to see? I've literally just been uh, going through giving this a test and seeing what's what with uh, the types of games you can play and stuff. Let's just spam in some letters. Let's go D, E, Switchblade. Oh, I might do Switchblade. Oh, Renegade 3 is so terrible, though. Crude Buster. Switchblade 2. Bounder oh, no, Vendetta. Renegade Arcade. Death Race. Rebounder. Target Renegade. Oh, oh. Deliverance. Alfred de Saint Monty. Holy shit, son. Desert Assault. There's literally the most amount at the moment. Video Kid. Desert War. Uh, what do I want to play? This is like this has got the same problem as Netflix, where there's just loads. Of, it's like how the fuck do I how the how do I choose? Let's do no, I don't want to. Let's do one of the worst games ever made for the ZX Spectrum. Oh, Speedball Two. Tom Burgoyne wants me to play. Crude Buster is brilliant, says Space Opercopter. Look at this shit. Considering the other uh, Renegade games were so incredible, you got to wonder how this ended up being made. Why the fuck I'm fighting Captain Caveman? Why the graphics have taken a downturn? Oh, it's so bad. What have you done to my beautiful Renegade? so bad like I wonder, I wonder what the story is behind this maybe it was a different game it was some kind of caveman beat em up game and they were like this is shit ain't gonna sell what should we do let's stick renegade the renegade name on it and change the protagonist to some like 1950s greaser dude that happens in games sometimes. That's like the uh, Western version of Super Mario 2 is... Oh, shit. It's just like a Doki Doki Panic or something with Mario on top. Oh, this game makes me feel sad. <laughs> Let's go and look at some Speedball 2. Put Target Renegade on next to show the difference, Ian. All right. I could do that quickly. Renegade 3 is such butt. Carry through. There's Premier Manager on there. Frightmare. Who does wins? Premier Manager 97. They've got Pymania games on here. Wow. Grell and Fella. Oh, it's, it's well, Grell and, Grell and Fella. That's the proper spelling of it. But the Spectrum version was released as Grell and Fella because I, I guess they made a spelling mistake. Uh, where the fuck was Target Renegade gone? Or just Renegade. Any one of them. Looks like there's a lot of games with R in. There we go. Target Renegade. Quick look at Target Renegade. Just so we can see that it was a lot better. Here you go. He's in the right time zone. Oh, fuck. He got hit by my Get up. <laughs> X 
excellent music too. This is just wails on people. Ah. I don't know how, if that's how you're supposed to fight in real life. I'm, something tells me that's not the, the proper way to throw a punch. No. Quit. Okay. Right, so what are we doing? Speed wall 2, wasn't it? Amiga Games Shadow Fighter. I bet I've gone past it. I wasn't looking for a s fraction of a second. I wasn't looking at what I was scrolling across. So I was looking at the thing below. Pimple Dreams. Nice. Right, hold on. Let me just double check. Move. Uh, no moonstone. There's speedball and speedball too, but not speaking. Oh, Dolgan says to search for a full stop. Oh. Ah. Hold on then. Search for a full stop. What does that do? Is that going to show every game? Combat tribes. Well, maybe this shows everything. Let's see how far. Let's see. Let's see how far we can go. What's that? Mysterious stones. Contract Sam Crane. Gribbly's day out. Pirate. Pirates in hyperspace! They don't make games titles like that anymore, do they? Henry's Horde. Dommy. Naughty Boy. Excellent. It's a game about me. That cover art. God damn. She does squats. Revolver. Yeah, here we go. This is like... Hyper Raid. Look at all these games that, like, we didn't even see scrolling through all the other stuff. Ollie and Lisa 3. Scrambled Eggs. Future Night. This keeps going. Look at it. Phoenix. Technician Ted. Holy shit. Oh, Technician Ted's got. Oh, no, no, no. No. I'll get distracted. I've done Technician Ted on here before. It just keeps going. This so much stuff. Oh, it just keeps going, isn't it? I've got to do, got to do speedball. Do -do -do, do -do -do. I mean, that would have gone on for a couple of hundred games, I'm sure. Jack the Nipper, a space opera copter. I can't believe 90s games are considered retro. I feel so old, says Unholy Muppet. It's like nearly 30 years ago, the, the 90s. Sadly. One player game. Wow. OK. 
cannot remember what you're supposed to do here. This is like where you can buy extra stuff for your team, right? Buy stamina, buy oh, stamina, uh, aggression. The aggression of some bitmap sunglasses, that's cool. And power. There we go. Now, how do we start? Escape. Well, that's to be escaped, didn't it? Get ready! Oh, fuck. I don't want to see that replay. Uh, smacked him in the face. Mine! Ow! That's it. Come here. Oh, you fucker. Throw it! No! Ah, <gasps> oh, well... Turns out I'm still just as shit at Speedball 2 as I ever was! Ha! <laughs> oh, mine. No! Oh, you fucker. Ha <laughs> ha! To me! Oh, shit! Ah! <laughs> Clock their goalie. Mine! Fuck off! Yeah! Ice cream! <laughs> UK launches July the 1st, uh, as Dooligan says, and they will be adding more games after that. Oh shit, I've not been paying attention. Oh! Oh, oh god, I remember that. No, I keep passing to the. Oh! <gasps> Get in! Oh. Fuck this. Yes. Pass it. No. <gasps> Fuck. Come on. Who the hell is that? Oh, half time. Boom. <laughs> Just punched it right over his face. Ah. I'm, I, I'm glad you don't get penalised for penalties in this game because literally my my uh, tactics now are just punching people in the face. Give me the ball. Absolute shit. Go it. Oh, try to get in from the corner there, but cocked it right up. <gasps> Bastard. Don't you dare. Get it out. That's it. No. Defense! Where are you? Fuck! How did that happen? You threw it at me, and I threw it, and... <gasps> no. Don't know how that one happened. Ice cream. No. Oh. Yes. Why did I throw it that way? Oh, it's nearly time up. They're going to win. Ow. Oh, you little bugger. Yeah, I got it through the what's it. Hey! They got it through the what's it. Give me. What the? I've forgotten the rules of this game, but I presume that the ball is hurty Bernie then. Match over! Pom -pom. I wonder if DF Retro will cover Ant Stream, says Vandal. Uh, well, I've shared my logins with um, John Linneman, 
so he's interested to have a look. So whether or not he'll cover it or not, I don't know. But um, he is definitely was uh, interested in having a look. So we shall see. We shall see. Uh, anyway, right. I reckon it's probably. I reckon I've probably shown off enough of my uh, terrible retro gaming skills for now. Uh, let's quit out. I'll finish off with a dizzy game. While I give my uh, my first impressions of Ant Stream, um, let's just go dizzy dizzy. Uh, which one should I? Oh, that's dis, not dizzy. There we go. Uh, let's do. Let's do. Where's the Spectrum version of Magic Land Dizzy? Did I miss that? Let's see, 64. Oh, yeah, it was right at the beginning. No. Play. Magic Land Dizzy. Yeah, so uh, Ant Stream, if you didn't already know, is a streaming service and it is uh, subscription based. Just like Netflix and stuff like that, but it brings like countless Spectrum games to you in one place, uh, in one convenient place. You don't have to worry about like using actual hardware to load up the games or anything, and you can get it on PC, Mac, or Xbox One at the moment. And it's um. Yeah, it's quite good. I quite like it. I love the fact that there's all these retro games I've either got nostalgic memories of or have never heard of in one place at one time. The streaming still has... there's still a few like issues with the streaming in terms of... Uh... Oh fuck, when do you jump with this fast? Um, but in, in terms of occasionally you'll get like a fuzzy screen or whatever, but generally everything is um works well i don't have any input issues or lag issues with the controls there was one point in the whole of this entire stream where the feed the, the video feed kind of jittered a bit and it was in cannon fodder uh, but that only lasted for a couple of seconds uh, yeah i i i love the idea of uh, of having a, a retro streaming service i think it's pretty cool if you are interested in ant stream and you want to check it out for yourselves, it launches on July the 1st in the UK. If you're a Kickstarter backer, you will have access to it right now, of course. Uh, this closed beta, which is what I have been playing. Uh, I don't know what the monthly membership is for it, but uh, you can check out the details on their website, which I've linked to in the description below. And I'm doing terrible. With Magic Land, there's a certain point when you have to jump, jump, and do it. I can't even, can't even remember. Uh, anyway, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. This has been Antstream. Antstream is available on my phone. That could be a mate. Oh, is Antstream available on my phone? Wait, what? Antstream is available. On my... Is Antstream available on your phone, Vandal? I don't know. It may be available on phones. I'm not 100% sure. I can't. Vandal's saying, and stream is available on my phone. That could be amazing for trips away. So... I don't know what phone. I didn't know it was available on phones. That's kind of cool if it is. Um, £9.99 a month, says Lard Team Maker, for all the retro goodness you can deal with. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this retro stream. I'll be back tomorrow streaming probably some VR stuff. I won't be, uh, no, no uh, drunk PUBG from me on Friday though, because uh, I'll be um, off in Brighton for uh, Johnny's leaving drinks. So uh, apologies for that, but I'm sure Richard will jump into the breach and do something instead. So thanks for watching everyone. Oh, it's on Android Vandal says, wow, that's pretty cool. I like the idea of that. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much everybody for watching. I hope you have a lovely day and uh, enjoy the nostalgia of old school video games. Goodbye!
Tchau.